laptech innovations now find the equation of the line perpendicular from origin to a line the perpendicular from the origin to a line line meets it at a point minus 2 9 find the equation of the line okay now minus 2 comma 9 that means x coordinate is negative y coordinate is positive so that means it is in the second quadrant so somewhere here there is a point this point is called minus 2 comma 9 okay now perpendicular from origin meets the line uh, at this point so this line is of somewhat like this this is the line and there is a perpendicular from origin like this you know this is the perpendicular from origin so this is the origin o this is the uh, let us call it foot of perpendicular so this is what the whole scenario is all about we want to find out equation of this line so we have to find out slope of this line then negative reciprocal of that will give you the slope of this line so slope of this line is very easy to calculate because we know this line om slope of om is what what is slope of om it is 0 minus 9 upon 0 minus minus 2 which is equal to minus 9 divided by plus 2 so that is the slope of om so therefore slope of perpendicular line is equal to negative reciprocal so minus sign will go and 9 by 2 will become 2 upon 9 finish now we can use the formula y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so y minus y1 y1 is what 9 is equal to m which is 2 upon 9 x minus x1 which is minus 2 again right fine so this will take this 9 on this side so 9y minus 81 is equal to 2 multiplied by x plus 2 which is 9y minus 81 is equal to 2x plus 4 so therefore the equation is 2x minus 9y is e uh, Uh, 9y, 2x minus 9y, 2x minus 9y plus 85 is equal to zero. Correct. So this is our price. It's a very interesting problem where we are dealing with a, uh, you know, the bhaiya who normally brings dood lata na, subha subha subha. Uske baare mein yeh problem hai. Bechare ko malum bhi nahi ki. वो कितने प्रॉब्लम पब्लिक के लिए खड़ा करता है देखो क्या लिखा है द ओनर ऑफ अ मिल्क स्टोर फाइंड्स दैट ही कैन सेल 980 लीटर्स ऑफ मिल्क ईच वीक एट द रेट ऑफ 14 लीटर्स फॉर रुपीस 14 पर लीटर एंड 1220 लीटर्स ऑफ मिल्क ईच वीक एट रुपीस 16 पर लीटर एज्यूमिंग द लीनियर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द सेलिंग प्राइस एंड डिमांड हाउ मेनी लीटर्स कुड ही सेल वीकली at 17 per liter if you read the problem there is a lot of confusion samajh bhi nahi aata kya likha hai kya padha hai lekin t one by one we'll see now owner kya karta hai 980 liter 980 liters 980 liters per week पर वीक इतना वो मिल्क सेल करता कर सकता है करेक्ट लेकिन उसके लिए उसका रेट है फोर्टीन रुपीज पर लीटर फोर्टीन रुपीज पर लीटर बट अगर उसने सिक्स एंड वन टू टू जीरो लीटर्स ऑफ मिल्क ईच वीक एट रुपीज सिक्सटीन प्लस पर लीटर दैट मीन्स वन टू टू जीरो पर वीक अगेन Per week again, but this will be at the rate of sixteen. Okay, assuming a linear relationship between selling price and demand, how many liters he could sell weekly at rupees seventeen per liter? Okay, so which means what they have given is this. 
So let us draw this graph. Graph of what? The milk that it sells, you know, and the rupees and the, uh, what shall I say, the, so demand, demand and price. Okay. I'm sorry. Price. So at 14, so this is a price number one, that is 14. So price is 14. Okay. And there is another price, what? 16. So there is price 16. Okay. So the price is 16 rupees. Okay. The price is 16 rupees. And the price is 14 rupees. Okay. At 14, he sells 980 liters. So he says, let us say 980 liters. Right. That means this point has coordinates 14, comma, uh, 1, 2, 2, 0. Nay. Uh, 14, uh, uh, 980. 14, comma, 980. And this point has got coordinates. Uh, 16, 1, 2, 2, 0. 16, 1, 2, 2, 0. So, 16, 1, 2, 2, 0. Now, they have assumed that there is a linear relationship between the two. That means these two points can be joined straight line by a straight line. There is a linear relationship. Fine. So, find its equation because you are given two points. Right? So, double point form. What is the double point form? I have already done all these forms in the first lecture. So it is y minus y1 upon y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1. Fantastic. So y minus y1. So y minus y1 is what? 980. Correct? Divided by y2 minus y1. That is 1, 2, 2, 0 minus 980. This is equal to x minus x1. So x minus uh, 14. x minus 14 divided by 16 minus 14. 16 minus 14. So which means y minus 980 divided by 240. Okay. This is equal to this is equal to x minus 14 upon 2. Correct. So if you simplify a little bit, it becomes y minus 980 y minus 980 divided by I am cancelling these two here so it is 120 this is equal to how much this is equal to x minus 14 ok x minus 14 now that means I get a relation y minus 980 is equal to 120 multiplied by x minus 14. Okay. Now I can simplify it further, but I'm not interested. I want to find out how many liters could he sell at the price of rupees 17. So now if x is 17, what is y? That is what I want to find out. So I'll put x is equal to 17 here. So y minus 980 is equal to 120 multiplied by 17 minus 14. Correct? So that means I get y y minus y minus 980 980 is equal to 120 multiplied by 3. So that means y is equal to 360 plus 980 that gives me 0 so he can sell 1340 liters correct so that is the answer okay now students have a look at the next problem the next problem is AB is a midpoint of the line segment between the axis okay so that the equation of the lines is given by x upon a plus y upon b is equal to 2. Now, let us have a usual diagram. This is our, let us assume, y axis. This is our x axis. x axis 
and this is y axis. Now, AB is a midpoint of the line segment between the axis. Now, the orientation of line segment is not known, so let us sum right this, this is a line segment, right? And AB is a midpoint. So, this is AB is a midpoint here. This is AB, okay? This point will have coordinates. Let us call it x1, comma, 0, and this point will have coordinates 0, comma, y1, right? Our job is to find out what is x1 and what is y1, okay? But I know that AB is a midpoint. A, B is midpoint of what? Of this line A, B, capital A, B, correct? So, therefore, we know that x1 plus 0 upon 2 is A and y1 plus uh, y1 plus 0 upon 2 is B. Correct? So, y1 plus 0 upon 2 is b and x1 plus 0 upon that means x1 is 2a and y1 is 2b. Correct? So, therefore, x intercept is 2a and y intercept is 2b. So, therefore, using the uh, double intercept form x upon 2a plus y upon 2b is equal to 1. This is the equation of the line. All they have done is that 2 is taken here on the other side. So, this becomes x upon a plus y upon b is equal to 2, correct? Another very easy problem, okay? Point hk divides the line segment between the axis in the ratio 1 is to 2. Find the equation of line. Find uh, line segment between the axis, okay? So, again as the Last problem, we will do the same thing. This is, so this is x axis, this is y axis, this is a line segment between the axis, okay? Now, h k divides the line segment between x axis in the ratio 1 is to 2. So, therefore, it divides in the ratio 1 is to 2. So, this point will have coordinates, let us assume x upon x, uh, a comma 0, and this is 0 comma b. I am assuming that this segment is a and this segment is b. That is x intercept and y intercept are a and b, correct? So, now what will be the coordinates of this point? Let us call this point as a and this point as b, right? So, the point divides join off which two points? a comma 0 and another point is 0 comma b in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 2. Therefore, by section formula, what is this equation? 1 multiplied by 0 plus 2 multiplied by a divided by 1 plus 2 and comma 1 multiplied by b plus 2 multiplied by 0 divided by 1 plus 2. That means the point is 2a upon 3 comma b uh, upon 3, b upon 3. This is the point, okay? But this is equal to h comma k as they have given, okay? So, which means 2a upon 3, 2a upon 3 is h. So, that gives me value of A. A is 3H upon 2. Similarly, B upon 3 is equal to K. So, B ka value aata hai 3K, right? And equation of the line, as you all know, is simply X upon A plus Y upon B is equal to 1. But, that A is 3H by 2. As we have already seen, so, that is x upon 3h by 2 plus y upon 3k is equal to 1, okay? So, if I simplify this, then it becomes 2x upon 3h plus y upon 3k is equal to 1, correct? 
So, this is the equation of the line, ok. So, you need not simplify it further because simplifying it, it will not give you any kind of so called simplification <laughs> anyway. So, this is how the problem is to be solved, ok, fine. Now, let us go to the next one. 